Hello folks and welcome to this quick five minute uh, look-see at the new uh, Avia Planner um, from the Avia Planner guys uh, over at the Flight Sim Expo. Um, I've been told to have a look at this and sign up just to see what my thoughts are initially compared to Navigraph etc because Navigraph is the main um, flight planning and sim brief software that I use uh, for commercial and private flights, both IFR and VFR. So you can see you can get started for free um, with this uh, software. It's free for three days. You get three days full access to the charts. Uh, one thing that is um, appealing to this software is the Lido charts. Now, um, Navigraph, I think, use Jeppesen charts. They don't use Lido charts. So Lido are very commercial friendly that they take away a lot of the other aspects just focusing on commercial aircraft rather than uh, um, VFR flights etc etc um, you've got your nav data air cycle updates every 28 days they update the system on here for the air cycle um, so we'll go ahead and have a look now I haven't had much of, a, of a, a play with this but it is it's only $29 a year it works out about 20 quid British pounds and three three and a half I don't know what that means, three and a half dollars, or is that three to five dollars? I don't know what that means, maybe three. That's, that's a lot cheaper than Navigraph. However, there is some restrictions at the minute in place um, when it comes to the Navigraph software and this. Now, this is a web browser version. It's uh, not, obviously, Navigraph has the web browser version, but also has the, the app as well, which is very handy. It's a standalone app on Navigraph that you can have open on a separate screen like I do, and that all you're planning and goes into there. And this, at the minute, doesn't have that. And this is purely a, if you look here, it's a web-based web browser. And I'll be honest with you, um, my initial impressions were, you know, it's it's very clear, it's very precise, um, but there's not a lot you can do with it at the minute. All right, it's very new. Okay, and it should it should really be, um, I would probably say, beta access. It's, you know, there's no, for example, there's no sim link that I've, I can see, so you can't link it to your simulator. So it's all right having a chart and you know having things where you can see where you're flying. You know, I'm going from Leeds to Glasgow there as a pretend route, but you don't know where you are on the route. So it, to me, that's pretty pointless, if I'm being honest. Um, now, you can export um, the flight plan. So on here, you have to treat this like sim brief. So you're going to have to put your own aircraft type in, your own uh, your fuel usage, your fuel factor in there, and your altitude. So it doesn't tell you what... Um, so basically, it, it will plan your flight, but it doesn't give you... The, uh, the altitudes or the restrictions that obviously Navigraph would do or Simbrief would do. Um, but Simbrief would obviously focus that on, so they, they're they kind of like your traffic office as well. So they, they you know, like, for example, Ryanair, you submit your route and they would have already pre-route selections and, and, and routes already set for you with altitudes already preset. That's what Simbrief does. So this is purely a, a planning software for yourself. It's not a, doesn't take into consideration your virtual airline or or anything like that. So we'll go ahead. We'll just press. So you can see you can you can actually export these into um, uh, .root files for the PMDG, Microsoft uh, PLN files. Now this this is very old software. I mean you talk. I mean when when this when when the simulator first came out, you know, four years ago, this is what we had to do. We had to press these and drag them into the folders and or you know this this is kind of like yeah you've got to drag these to the, the the GSN 750 files, or or open them up in your in your world map on the screen and drag the plan in. So it's, oh, I wouldn't say it's really realistic. It's, it's, yeah. So anyway, so we'll go we'll go to create flight. We've created this flight here now from from Leeds to um, uh, Glasgow, and you can see it's got our departures already set and already in from Leeds International, um, which obviously is the same as Navigraph. You know, it's it's, it's very direct up to the Nels, up to the Ribble, and then up to um, Glasgow Atlantic, where you know ideally you would be vectored from here by ATC, and then you fly a VFR, which would go straight into a VRP um, over the clouds somewhere. But you, with, with usability, it's um, it's not bad. You know, it's, it's quite it's nice. It's it's bright. It's clear. Um, 
just looking at the charts now, you can see the LIDAR charts are coming in and they're, they're a lot clearer. You can see, but see, these charts in my eyes are no good unless you can see where you are on them. You know, you, you need a moving, a moving map chart. You, they're absolutely pointless if you don't know where you are in relation to these charts. Now, I know people say, oh, you can use GPS on board your aircraft, you can see where you are. Yeah, I get it, paper charts are, but in the modern flying age, you have an iPad and, you know, you, you've got a little aircraft symbol on there and you know where you are at all times. And that's the sort of technology we're, we're looking at in flight simulators in this in this day and age. Um, so we'll go and have a look at the... Let's just get rid of this. I don't know what's happening here. Come on, go, go, go. And we'll have a look at the airport charts. So we'll have a look at Glasgow, information, runways, tells you the, the length, um, charts, approaches. So we'll go for runway 23 and we'll look at the localised ILS for 23. And you can see there the, the chart is it's not as cluttered as a uh, Jefferson chart uh, on Navigraph, but it um, tells you what you need to know. Um, obviously, your glide slope to angle of attack and your altitude to intercept, etc., etc. So that's pretty cool. Um, other maps, uh, you've got your radar charts, which I don't think you got these on the um, Navigraph. That's one thing I don't think you can see. Airport briefing, we do have these basically just tells you your information about the airport restrictions, noise restrictions, etc, etc. Your runway headings and approach. And um, we've got the airport, this is what I want to see, which I thought was quite cool. And that's the, the taxi, the LIDAR chart for the, uh, the the taxi, which I think is a lot clearer than the Navigraph stuff um, on there at the minute. Um, I have noticed on the Jefferson charts, the, the, the run with the taxiway charts aren't as clear, so you can't, you know, you can't zoom in as much. On the Navigraph, you have to actually go into the map itself to get the clear taxi charts. But again, you know, with Navigraph, you can see where your aircraft is when you're taxiing, which is a massive help, especially when you're on VATSIM and you're in an airport that you're not very clear of. I think I flew to Barcelona the other week on VATSIM and, you know, they gave us some some pretty hefty taxi taxi routes from the active. And that was, you know, I, I used um, Navigraph charts to, to taxi myself. And without that, I could not have worked out where I was without seeing where my aircraft was on that taxi chart. Um, so, that, you know, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, you've got, obviously, different routes for heavier aircraft uh, highlighted in green, which you do have on Navigraph. Um, and also, you have the options for the Metars as well um, and the TAFs for uh, for Glasgow. And that's that's really all you can do with it at the minute. That There's not much more. So it is just a flight planning tool that, that that's kind of all it is it's it's nothing more and it's nothing more in depth than that it, it, you know you, you can't you can't activate um diversions whilst you're flying on here it's it's pretty new okay it's i think the software will be good in the long run um but at the minute yeah i think it's more beta access if i'm being perfectly honest it's uh they need they need a standalone app or, or sort of something that you can use on a tablet, um, and they definitely need some some tracking software, some SimLink software in there, and the ability hopefully in the future to be able to pull things through into the aircraft rather than um, having to insert manually, which just for some people and especially myself, I can't really be bothered doing. If I'm honest, um, when the software is already there, you pay a little bit more for the Navigraph, but the software is already there for you to be able to use and you just import straight away but this you know avia plan is a great idea and i really hope that the the system and the software pushes in and it's definitely a rival um, competition for navigraph uh but my personal opinion is it's it's not to be compared to navigraph at the minute um yeah i think uh, navigraph is, is the leader in flight simulator planning and aviation charts at the minute um, and I don't think this is to match it as we speak. That's not to say in a few months' time when they have these things. I don't know. I don't know what's uh, coming in. There's not much information um, on the actual website about um, you know what what's coming or or there's there's a lot of it. A lot of it. How who the people are and you know who 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 these guys are that have that are working in partnerships with. But there's nothing on there to kind of 
tell you what's coming. Um, yeah, yeah. That, there's, there's nothing there to say. Oh, yeah, there's going to be there's going to be sim link software. You know where you can track your aircraft on the maps because that to me is, is a massive uh, a massive hit. You know, but if you want to use a chart and a separate web browser open on a chart, you want to see where you are on that chart, and that's and that's what we use. You know, especially with virtual navigation on on the, on the networks and stuff. You you use this to work out where you are. You use the iPads within the aircraft to find out whereabouts you are in the world. You know, you've only got so much information on that uh, MFD in front of you. Um, but yeah, I, re I really hope. Um, it's just a quick look, um, basically, to see what's what's going on with it, and the, the talk about it at the FS Expo at the minute is it was really good. Um, but as far as um, simulator use, like I say, you can only plan on here, so it's a bit like a sim brief. That, that's that's all it is. It's it's just a sim brief route planner. That, that's all it is. It's nothing more. Um, there's a few lidar charts in there, well, full lidar charts, but there's nothing you can um, integrate it with your simulator. So it's just kind of a standalone package at the minute, which I think for most users, uh, my opinion would be it's not very helpful for us. Um, you know, it's cheap, which is a big selling point for now. Um, but like I say, you've got you've got Navigraph that's priced about uh, a tenner a month and, and you get far more superior um, features with that at present. Um, a lot of the things also within this uh, you've got your nav data software but nothing's available at the minute a uh, training nothing's available so they are looking at heading towards like pilot training with this software but it's obviously not it's, it's very new and there's nothing um nothing available at present and it does look like it kind of uses google maps as the kind of overlay but again with with this there's there's the map screen for the actual software that there's no I mean, this is pointless. It's a road map. Um, you know, it's it's for roads. This it's not for aircraft. There's no there's no airports. There's no nothing. So, so what's the point in this? You know, this to me this is pointless. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what what to suggest with that. To be honest, uh, let's just type in Glasgow in the, and see what this comes up as. So it brings it it brings you up the airport. <laughs> alright on Google Maps um, or Bing Maps whatever they're using here and then obviously you've got your charts you can't click on any of the wrong ways um, you've got your departures on the LIDAR maps as well and your stars to bring <coughs> to bring you into the, the, the airport itself so yeah that's my kind of quick five minute review on this it's I think it'll be a good piece of software, but I don't think it's anywhere near ready for the simulator world yet. Um, the usability, the friendliness of it is not there yet as well. With it being a web browser, it's, you know, yeah, you've got, you've got no tracking, you've got no information of your aircraft, you've got no... Well, you, you know, you've got, you've got no set route plans, so you, it doesn't know what you are. And, and also as well, one thing I did notice as well is you're also very limited in what aircraft you can use. So there's, you know, there's only about 50 odd aircraft or 40 aircraft you can use at the minute, and none of these are actually um, um, general aviation as well. So if you, if you want to fly, I don't know, let's say the the, um, the Piper M500, which is obviously a a large general aviation aircraft, or could be commercial, whatever you want to use it for, but it is or does and will have the capability to fly IFR. Uh, we fly IFR all around the world with the M500 and the TBMs, you know, we, we use on a, a regular basis, but they're not here. So you can't choose to fly them. So if you want to fly the TBM in this, you can't um, because it doesn't have it listed. And there's no way to actually add these to the list, um, unfortunately, yet. So in, re in regards to planning and, and fuel planning, it's with me, I think Simbrief's the way forward at the minute. Because uh, that works all that out for you, it works all your alternatives out for you. This doesn't. This just works a direct route from A to B, and you have to input all the information yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I really hope this product comes out and is is a winner in the future. But at the minute, I will stick to Navigraph. Take care. Bye for now.